Hello everyone, it's uh, Dave and Zero OGY. Um, today we're doing a review of the new Magnum 257 HP. The HP denotes high power. Right, the uh, Magnum, you know, 257 10 meter radio has been around uh, since about 1999. Uh, the early versions run two SC 1969s in there. Uh, the, the current one, the lower power one, runs the ERF 2030s, but this one runs uh, an external an external uh, amplifier on the rear of the radio, uh, which uh, is called an RFX 75, and it's a MOSFET amplifier, and it actually employs one ERF 2030 and one ERF 7530, which can you know make up to around 100 watts. Obviously, uh, they keep it down to, you know, around 80, around 80, or they would say on SSB. But we'll do some tests on that, and it's bolted on the rear of the radio. I will show you that a little uh, further on. So uh, this is, you know, what it comes uh, comes to uh, the customer. Uh, also, I I, uh, I wish to thank uh, Piet uh, at Vera Limited, and also. Uh, Sam at RF Limited for sending me uh, this uh, first version to the shores of the United Kingdom. So uh, you know I've got this one here to to uh, have a go with. You know thanks for the loan of the radio guys. So this is the one. Um, it comes in the typical Magnum 257 box, uh, which has been out since the beginning of uh, the radio. Uh, the first Magnums come out in around, like we say, about 1999. Uh, the box uh, must have a few to use up uh, uh, there. Uh, is um, basically just the same, but uh, it does have the 257 HP stickers put on it, saying 80 watts is also on the top. So there you are. So that's what uh, comes in the package. We've got the radio, the uh, microphone, which has uh, up and down keys on it to, to change you know the channels of the frequencies it is actually a uh, power mic uh, an amplified mic which uh, goes to a speech processor unit which is a, a good thing so no internal batteries uh, the unit also comes with a really really good heavy duty power lead which we have there as you can see and it uh, runs a, a, a decent blade fuse uh, which is a lot better than the cheap plasticky things that you have to split and there's the bracket that comes with it, nothing fancy, just a stock bracket and indeed it comes with a, a really nice manual and uh, a particular schematic diagram for this um, 80 watts radio so that's it, very compact as we can see there um, it's the latest uh, blue cool blue display version uh, the earlier radios is on the front of the packaging uh, as you can see used to have like an amber amber type display which uh, I prefer the later one myself which uh, has like a, a nice blue display and also lights up around the buttons so I'll move on and I'll show you what uh, what the radio is like internally and then a bit later on in the review I'll put some calls out on 10 meters and we'll also try it uh, receiving on 11 meters at this stage I, I'm just point out I don't really condone uh, the use of working one of these on 11 meters but there again people do and that's up to them they pay the monies and they do what they want with the uh, radios you know that's uh, that's the real world that we live in right so there you are that's, uh, that's the Magnum 257 HP, catch you in a few moments, guys. Run until all of the angels, this could take all night. Think I need a devil to help me get things right. Look me up on your revolution, cause this one is a lie. 